How you guys doing? This is very important. Oh, if anybody's wondering, I guess Papa John's came by the house or something. I didn't order a pizza. I'm not where. It, I'm not sure where it came from. But hello, Papa John's pizza. How you guys doing? Lots of things are important. Hello, friendly people, and hello other Italian restaurants or pizza restaurants and friendly restaurants. You know, but this is very important in reverence to this government man. This government man has been trying to call me his slave. The royal protocol is in the media. It says no matter who the person is, no matter what country they came from, no matter who they are, no matter who their parents are, no matter who they are, no matter what race, no matter what color, no matter what they look like, tall, short, skinny, fat, uh, pretty or ugly or anything, it says clearly in the Royal Protocol and in Treasury documents that anybody calling me their slave must get arrested. Do you understand that? It doesn't matter if they're a president. doesn't matter if they're a vice president. doesn't matter if they're a governor, a mayor, a cop, a businessman. If it's another businessman trying to call me their slave, they must get arrested no matter who they are. Even if it was a college professor, they'd have to get arrested. Even if it was a, a person in the entertainment industry, they'd have to get arrested. Even if it was a security man or any type of industry or any type of category of title or label of any kind, even if they were a common citizen, if they tried to call me their slave, no matter who the hell they are, they have to get arrested. No matter what, it strictly says that specifically in reference to who I am. And those laws was there in reference to my mother and father, too. And those laws was there in reference to my grandparents. But this satellite man, somebody had tried to communicate that he was fucking up my looks because I had prettier teeth than him and girls thought I was prettier than him or more attractive than him. But this man was trying to call me his slave. So he thought... Me having beautiful teeth and having rich royal blood, that this man thought that he would try to call me his slave. Do you understand? I come from real royalty. Now, this is very important, and this is going to be so important in reference to this man and all his goddamn fucking liars and thieves. We need that man to make some YouTube videos as he has tried to claim that he had a richer blood type than me. Do you understand that? This man. And my DNA is like one of the, it's like uh, one of a kind, you know. My parents' DNA was one of a kind. This man has claimed he had richer blood than me. He claimed he had a richer bloodline than my family. And he said that's what, he communicated that's why he was calling me his slave and he fucked up my beautiful teeth. You don't understand that? So the military or the United Nations or the Treasury or Supreme Court or ATF or law enforcement, every single person needs to arrest this man in the satellite control room and all people that was involved in damaging my teeth. Every person, even common citizens need to arrest this motherfucker that damaged my face and teeth. He has tried to claim that he had a richer blood type than mine. And he said, and he communicated, that's why he fucked up my face and teeth. You know, I was in a coma when I was a little boy from thieves trying to steal from my parents. Now, do you, now you guys know what rich blood is, right? You know, well, you know, in reference to what they call, you know, purple blood or blue blood or, you know, you know what rich blood is, right? Bloodlines of family, history. Look up what rich blood is. It's not about really what how much money you got in your in your pocket in basic information. That's not what they mean in reference to wealthy blood or you ever heard somebody say, Oh, that's too rich for their blood is what they say, or that's too rich for my blood is what some people would say. That's what some people would say. You know, it's kind of a joke of humor, usually in reference to people eating sweets or people eating caviar or whatever, you know, basic information. But, you know, in reference to the situation, this man has tried to steal my penis, tried to steal my identity, 
Tried to call me trash. Fucked up my face and teeth with this fucking satellite. And there are laws and restrictions that they're not even allowed to touch me. Do you understand that? So it has to be ordered by the courts to apprehend all these people. They're burning my throat right now and it's like burning real bad. Like they're trying to play acid reflex of the throat or some shit. But anyways, they're burning my throat right in there. And, you know, this government man and his people damaging my teeth based on their falsification of calling me a fake person. Do you understand the injuries that I have when I was a little boy? It is on Treasury documents and Supreme Court documents that the government's not allowed to touch me. The government's not allowed to be spying on me, abusing me, burning me, or mutilating, or damaging anything. Because, you know, my father had injuries. I had injuries when my father got murdered from satellite when I was a little boy. And these people that had came into the country, they said they'd never seen such beautiful people in America. This is what some of these government people had said, I guess. And they were torturing Americans, these government people was... Because Americans was attractive. Now, you know, these government people are, they're raping and pillaging the fucking country is what some of these perverts have tried to do. They're psychos. But, you know, in reference to these people, this man tries to claim that he thought he, he had status over the properties my father built or my mother or my grandparents. This man is ostracizing his fabrications and lies like he's some freak dictator in branches of government in America. And that's grounds for dismissal. That's grounds for impeachment. Now, if this man is a previous politician, the man can go straight to fucking prison for trying to create a dictatorship after he was out of office, or he tried to create a a dictatorship during the time he was in office and he's tried to continue his illegal position of government even when there's laws of term limits that limit the amount of time people are allowed to be in government. You know that, right? That's why a president can only be president, you know, either four or eight years. They can't be president after that at all. So if any of these people that stole from me or abused me or are holding me hostage, if they are trying to act like like they were above me, because the president's not even above me. Royal Protocol tells you why. Everybody's supposed to know this. Now, if those presidents didn't pay the White House rent, those presidents can be charged for illegal communism in reference to, because, you know, the president doesn't own the White House. The CIA, FBI, NSA, they don't own the White House either. So, you know, it's a long story in reference to the history of the White House. But, you know, these government people, the man that damaged my teeth, there was already restraining orders against him and individuals of his race. And anybody in that type of field of, if he was in law enforcement or if he was in the medical industry or if he was in some industry of any kind and he thought he'd be funny fucking up my teeth or something. The man has to go to prison. He has to get tried in court for treason and for sexual crimes, violent sexual crimes. And don't forget, these people damaged my teeth and they have prevented them from growing and healing for over five plus years. And they were satelliting my face and teeth when they had kidnapped me from California. And some people in California know who some of these people are. <clears throat> because some of these, they just poked me right there. Because some of these people had went out to California. And I guess they had went to a law enforcement office. Or they had went to the FBI office or the CIA office. And then they had... Uh, had made up shit about me to try to kidnap me as their way of holding me hostage here in Indiana. I mean, like they were planned on kidnapping me from California, which is premeditated attempts of murder. Because my mother had court cases that said anybody who tries to, to kidnap me and tries to hold me hostage in Indiana can't be charged for attempts of murder. 
Oh, I guess that might. I don't know if that's the pizza man again. I didn't order a pizza. Someone is at the face front door. 